Aliens Together asks, why have you got Siege in your Sunset Canyon team? Well, it's a good question, but the real question should be, why haven't you got Siege in your Sunset Canyon team, especially early game? Let's have a look why people don't like Siege. Quite simply, they are a restricted march. They have no advantage over any of the other marches. So, when troop type is restricted, damage received will be increased, and the restricted troop type will deal reduced damage. So they are at a slight disadvantage, but I promise you, I've done some tests on this, especially between infantry and archers, and it's not a huge problem. Let's have a little look though, uh, as you say, I want you to have the mindset, if you follow this channel, that don't do what the 99% do, do what the 1% do, and be driven by results. So let's have a look at a 14 million whale with uh, expertise Sun Tzu going up against my Siege March. And my Siege March doesn't even use all the tricks. But let's have a quick look. So, sorry, sorry to pick on your gain, Merc, but let's have a watch of this. And let's zoom in on the Siege March going up against Sun Tzu. And let's just see. How does he trade? So the trade is positive to me about... 100 which is amazing obviously it changes as buffs come in and out but there is some proof that maybe there's something worth looking at let's have a look at some of the advantages that a siege march has now i'm using joan at the moment she's not the best but she's pretty good at leading siege the first advantage is siege has its own equipment and it's cheap um one of these only costs 20 blue items. I can't remember which one it is. I've obviously had some fantastic luck in expertise in a lot of my stuff as well. But let's have a look. So, 15%, 22%, 30% of progress on your march. Just from the equipment. And it's not fully dressed yet. I haven't got the epic parts. Staying on the subject of equipment. Uh, whales and pay to play players get this for free well not for free for £9.99 they get a full set of epic uh, equipment to use on their siege march so why every single pay to play player hasn't got a siege march is a true mystery of the game so siege defense 6 uh, attack makes 10 uh, that's another f 2 of each so that's 14 and then another four on attack there. That's 18% of progress just for free without crafting a single blue item. You could also fit another two, bl two blue items on that uh, with that equipment. So a massive advantage. Let's now have a look at some of the talents. So support have some of the best talents in the game. It's a secret, but it's true. This one here, rejuvenate, 150 rage, whenever a skill is used. So there you've got two commanders, they both use their skill, that's 300 rage, which brings the next skill use three seconds closer, which is absolutely insane. And of course, remember, Joan's buff also gives you more rage, but more when she's expertise. We'll go on that another, another time. This talent here, expert design, 6% on attack, defense and health. That's 18 points of progress on your march, and that's for three talents. And look how close it is how early you get it absolutely insane uh i use it as a tank march in my front line so there's three talents here is a reduction of nine percent to their damage let's also have a look up here well and a massive massive tanking talent here three points spent here when you're less than 50 percent 15 percent to defense which is ginormous and it's not like the infantry skill where it's a chance of one in ten chance to get a uh, reduction to damage as soon as you're under 50%, that 15% is yours until you die. 3% maximum troop capacity might not seem a lot, but what I would suggest is use Lohar occasionally. I've used Lohar occasionally in my Sunset team, and it will be a rare day that he heals 3000, where this march starts with that 3000. And of course, they also have their attack, health, and defense to add to your overall. Uh, the equations that are happening behind the scenes. Let's now have a look at another massive, massive advantage to the Siege March. I'm not using this at the moment, but one of the best skills in the game, unbeknown to many, many people, one of the best tanking skills in the game for your Sunset team is the Mora. So, 
If you max this to 5, that's 30% to health and 30% to defense. The first thing you need to realize is these are both defense um, pluses to your defense. There's no attack. Often, skills are split between the two. Some might be attack, some might be march speed, and so on. But these are both for your frontline strength. And I'm not even using this. I did put one cheeky 10 heads into it, but it missed and went into Clever Heart, which is a problem with that skill. But if you can get that to 5-5, five, five, it's huge. Now listen to this. For the people that have epic heads to spare, if you have Queen Tamar of Georgia, not only do you get a massive double heal, not only do you get an extra troop, 10% troops, she also puts more onto your attack and a chance of attack reduction. All very tanky. So keep that in mind. That's 10% extra troops. Then you add on Matilda. Yes, it reduces your attack, but that's another 15%. So now you're up to 25%. Then you go back to your, your talents. Add on that 3%. That's 28% more troops. I mean, you can have a Martel Richard march not heal 28,000 in a sunset arena just a huge huge tank in march so as i said the question is why haven't you got a siege march they're absolutely brilliant for early sunset uh, obviously they don't have much function outside of sunset um, but just try and have the mindset does it work can i make use of this can i do it early i like to do the um the siege equipment early because it progresses the event quest line that you get here and it's really cheap to do the the item that is only 20 um 20 blue items it progresses this really quickly but anyhow that's all i have on siege at the moment but i hope this has opened your mind and made you think about some of the advantages you can have with siege thanks for watching